Hello friends, welcome to this channel. My name is Mohammed Bilal. Hope so you are all fine. Today I will share some important terms with you regarding power distribution system. For example, average load, load factor, diversity factor and many more. So keep watching the video to the end so you will get the basic idea about all terms. Before starting this video, if you are new to this channel, subscribe it and press the bell icon so you will get the updates of my new video. So now let's start the video. I will share some important terms and factors with you. So the first one is demand, load demand. The demand of an installation of a system is the load at which the receiving terminal average over a specific interval of the time. So load may be in kilowatts, kilowatts, kilowatt amperes, kilowatt, kilo amperes and amperes. And now what is demand interval? So period over which the load is averaged. Few more terms, variable load problems have introduced the following terms and factors in power plant engineering. So let's start one by one. So what is connected load? Some of the connected loads of all the consumers. What is maximum demand? Greatest demand of load on power station during a specific interval of time. So the next definition of maximum demand is maximum demand is usually less than connected load. Consumer don't switch on their load simultaneously. Station must meet the maximum demand. And the major and the most it determines the install capacity. So what is average load? Average load occurring on a power station in a given period, day, month, or a year. So it has different formulas. Daily average load, how we can convert it? It is equal to unit unit in a day divided by 24, means number of hours in a day. Monthly average load is equal to unit generated in a month divided by 720. And yearly average load is equal to unit generated in a year divided by 8760. So you can calculate it according to your demands. Now what is the load factor? Load factor is the ratio of the energy consumed to the maximum power recorded for the same period. Load factor is equal to average load divided by maximum demand. If we do not know the time, if the plant is operated for 30 hours, then the formula is the, the formula is basically average load into time period divided by maximum demand into time period. The, the main point here is that the load factor is always less than one. Why it can? We can talk later on. So load the load factor more expensive will be the per unit cost. So you have to keep one thing in mind that you that your load factor must be greater and not be it not be lower so how we can make it greater we can talk it <coughs> for example we discuss example about load factor now monthly average consumption is equal to 36000 kilowatt hour peak demand is 100 kilowatt billing period days is 30 days so what we have to calculate here load factor load factor is equal to average demand divided by maximum demand means that we have calculated this amount we have uh, this amount here and uh, the peak demand is 100 number of days is 30 into 24 number of hours in a day is equal to 0.5 now let's talk about diversity factor. Diversity factor is equal to sum of the individual maximum demand divided by maximum demand on power station. The load is a time dependent as well as a being dependent upon equipment characteristics. Diversity factor recognizes that the whole load does not equal to the sum of its parts due to this time interdependence diversity. 
when the maximum demand of the supply is being assessed rating of all electrical equipment that could be connected to the supply should not be added because it unlikely that all equipment is used simultaneously so the maximum demands on the power station is less than the sum of the individual demands of the consumer so it means that some of the individual demands are always greater than the maximum demand on power station diversity factor will always be greater than one now here is an important point the greater the diversity factor lesser is the cost of generation of power diversity factor are used by utilities for distribution transformer sizing and load predictions diversity factor in a distribution network is determined by the type of service residential commercial industrial and combinations of such now let's talk about exa uh, example of diversity factor we can see in a diagram here that this is basically sub transmission here this is a transformer and these are the primary feeders so one is of residential load the other is of industrial load and two are reserved for future loads so two primary feeders supplied by a transformer one of the feeders supply to industrial load the other one feeds residential loads now what we have to calculate determine the diversity factor of the load connected to the transformer we have to calculate a diversity factor of the load so how we can calculate it we already know about the formula so we have to calculate the sum of the individual maximum demand first so how we can calculate it we can see here that the maximum demand of industrial load is equal to 2000 and the maximum demand of residential load peak is equal to 2000 so total connected or uh, individual maximum demand is equal to 4000 2000 kilowatt industrial 2000 kilowatt residential and total is equal to 4000 kilowatt now maximum demand on a transformer is equal to 3000 kilowatt mean the the formula e of diversity factor e is equal to sum of individual maximum demand divided by maximum demand on power station in here the maximum demand on a system load is equal to 3000 so here we have a 3000 so diversity factor is equal to 4000 total ma individual maximum demand divided by maximum demand and power station so it is equal to 1.33 thanks for watching this video stay tuned to this channel